Hey guys, this reviews more back with a quick video. This is on an office chair from the brand Modern Home. It is under the name Zuna. It is a mesh back office chair and they come in a variety of colors. And this will be a quick review and assembly video. And as always, if you like the video, please hit the like and subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. All right, as we go through this quick unboxing, I'll point out that this chair costs between $70 and $80, depending on where you pick it up. It's available at a variety of online locations. We picked this one up at a, from a Wayfair listing. It's also available on Amazon, as well as I've seen it on Walmart and some other stores. So here we go with the basic setup. Uh, the first thing you're going to do is get that, is take a look at all the uh, mesh meshing on it. First thing you do with any chair at this price point will probably be to inspect the seams, make sure they're not already burst, busted, or split, because then you know you got a faulty chair and you're going to need to send it back because that's going to eventually just zipper outward and be basically a holy chair before you know it. So always check the meshing on this style of chair first thing. From there, you're going to check out the casters or the wheels here. These have little white, almost porcelain looking kind of wheels, but they're actually just metal and they'll come into focus eventually if I can just be more professional. But they snap in and they will be an audible snap or at least one that you will feel. So when you do feel it, don't freak out. That's what it's supposed to do. If you're pushing in and it doesn't make any kind of um, sudden adjustment, like it's locking in place, it means something's wrong with the caster or possibly where the caster is going into the, into the base there. And there's the piston you see as this thing lifts up fairly uh, high. And the dimensions for this chair are 26.6 by 21.7 and can adjust to a 36.6 overall height up to a 40.6 inch overall height. The seat adjusts from 18 to 22 and it supports a weight of 250 pounds and you'll see me and my fat gut on top of there at the end and I'm at a, I'm at 230 so if you want to see an actual test make sure it supports the weight of 230 I can at least vouch for that so you'll see that towards the end now as I said before you see here it kind of pops into place that's what all these do and they should go in and right here you can see it where it actually will if I could just get it in frame there you go you see the other end should pop out just a hair above where that uh, caster goes into place and you'll have to repeat that four more times. Um, I actually like the quality of the wheels. They roll really easy. They're not all plastic, which is what I'm used to at this price point. They're actually kind of a metal-y finish kind of wheel. So it rolls much smoother on those plastic surfaces they have available. And then you get this fun part, which is putting on the adjuster. So this is going to adjust with the piston. And it's also the locking uh, mechanism to allow you to lock the lean, how far back the chair leans. So there's the front sticker. Make sure you get it right. There's an image. You should make sure it matches up. Make sure you get this thing pointed towards the right direction. If the uh, little uh, adjustment knob, knob there, the little circular thing, that should be pointing towards the front. So that's how you'll know if you got it right, or you can just look at the picture. Tighten down the bolts, and you'll be good to go. I would recommend tightening them down one after the other in sections. Otherwise, you might end up getting it off center or off kilter, and it'll be very difficult to tighten, or it could strip it. All right, this is by far the worst part, is putting on these uh, arm chair pieces, I'm sorry, the armrests. They don't want to go on there, and they, and they align just so, so you will have to get them tightened just right. Otherwise, they will not go on there. I would recommend leaving them a little bit loose, because later on, when you have to attach these armrests directly to the base, having them too tight might make it a little difficult. So you might want to just keep them snug, but not super duper tight, and it'll go for it. Um, one possibly negative aspect of this chair is I was kind of hoping that, um, that there would be little uh, white covers that would go over top of these bolts, but they're not. So it's a little bit of an eyesore, but that's just 70, 80 bucks. That's what you're dealing with. So um, maybe just something that might bother you. Didn't bother me too much, but that's the only real negative of the arm of the white uh, chair uh, armrest there in the white backing. And then next we have to bolt on the back of the chair and the armrest directly to the base that you sit on. So this takes a little while. Um, I would recommend having someone hold at least one in place because it does get a little, bit, little annoying. But overall, it's not terribly difficult. It's just kind of tedious to get it in there. Um, I forgot to use washers. So that's going to be your first uh, thing you notice here is I forgot to put the washers in the first one. Don't worry, I corrected it later. But make sure you put the washers in there. You will notice that they barely fit. So the washers, you only how are these going to fit in there? How These don't make any sense. They are meant to go in there snug. You are not going to get the washer to sit flush in there without tightening down the bolt first. So it'll so basically the bolt will act as a way to push the washer into place. So just be prepared for that. It's not anything you're doing wrong. It's just simply the fact that they wanted a very, very tight fitting into that uh, plastic uh, 
area where the washer sits. And there you see where I forgot the washer. The other bolt hole does not require a washer, but it is semi-adjustable, so that's kind of how you get the backing just right. So if you notice when it's finally done, that one section of the uh, cushion sits closer to the back uh, backrest than the other ones do, that's your chance to kind of adjust that a little bit with those uh, slightly adjustable, uh, malleable um, guides there for the bolts. And here we'll see a close-up of the bolt being placed into the proper slot. It just goes straight in, just uses a hex key. That's all you need. I use my own kit here because some of the uh, the hex key they provide um, is kind of a weird design, usually one side shorter than the other. It's actually equal on both sides, so you have an issue in some... I think I had an issue tightening on the base adjuster where the control arm is because then it, w it kept hitting it and it was just annoying. Minor complaint, but it was there. And there's the other side, putting the same set on. Again, this is why you want to keep the armrests loose and then tighten them later on once you get the whole thing assembled. Because if you tight over tighten that armrest, it can make it a little less easy to bolt it into the bottom of the base as you see here. So keep it a little bit loose, then go back and tighten it later and it'll work out a lot easier for you. All right, and the last part, all you got to do is just set the base on there and get it and see my glorious, glorious size 12 feet. And you just set the base right on. Look at that mop top I got going on there. And come on, stupid. Let's do it. And down it goes. Once it's on there, it's set. Uh, sit on it, put a little weight on it. But the wedging effect of it is basically what holds it in place. And you don't have to worry about it anymore. It's good to go. It'll only come off if you basically pull it off on purpose. And here's my fat butt going into the chair, making sure it works. This is 230 pounds going into a 250 pound limit chair. Gulf. All right, there we go. And blub, blub, blub. It works, goes up and down. Nothing too crazy. And great little chair for 80 bucks. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Like and subscribe if you found it helpful.